We want to help you get more from your macOS computer with these tips for customizing your settings. We'll show you how to find settings quickly and adjust them to make your computer work better for you. And if you share a Mac with others, you'll learn how you can each personalize your preferences to suit your needs. You can find the system preferences either on the dock or in the Apple menu. The options are grouped into categories. In the first row, you'll find settings to control the appearance and functions of your desktop and application windows. You can set up and customize items like your keyboard and your mouse or trackpad with these settings. Here you can change your internet-related settings. Finally, you'll find options to add new users and address those with specific needs. You can click any icon to get more detailed options. Here you can choose colors for your desktop and windows and change your default web browser. To return to the main menu, select the grid button. If you're unsure where to find a setting, the search feature is a great help. Maybe you want to back up your files. As you start typing, a list of possible matches will appear. Possible locations will light up as you type and help you narrow down your search. If you see what you're looking for, select it from the search results. The setting will open automatically. Let's go up to the grid button to take a closer look at the other settings options. If you're just getting started with your computer, some of the default settings may not work well for you. You may want to customize items like your keyboard and mouse or trackpad, depending upon what your computer has. In this case, we'll choose mouse. Here you can change the direction of scrolling. Natural scrolling, as shown in the video insert, is the default, but you may be more accustomed to the reverse direction. Below it, secondary click or right click is not checked by default. Selecting this will enable right clicking. If you like, you can also adjust your mouse tracking speed to make it faster or slower. With some settings, you will need an administrator password to make changes. For example, under Users and Groups. Some options will be grayed out. Clicking the lock icon will prompt you to enter your administrator password. This lock will stay open until you close the system preferences. You can add new users by clicking the plus sign, or select a user to make changes to their settings. Any user who knows an administrator password can make changes to all the user's settings, so you may want to restrict who has access to an admin password. While we're here, you may consider choosing login items. These are applications that will open each time you log into your account. This may be a great option for a couple of apps you use every day. However, you may want to be careful not to add too many apps to the list since it can take them a while to open each time you log in. If you have children using this computer, you may want to enable parental controls. Let's click the grid icon and choose parental controls from the menu. Again, you will be prompted to enter an admin password. Then choose a username from the list. You have the option to limit which applications can be used. In the Web Preferences, you can limit web browsing and even choose specific websites to allow. Under the Time tab, you have options for setting time limits for your child as well. Now let's click the grid icon to check out accessibility. macOS gives you many options to make it easier for you to work on your computer. If you prefer to listen to text instead of reading it, you can enable this under Speech. Here you can select how you want the voice to sound and even use shortcut keys to enable it. If you would like to talk to your computer instead of typing, you can do this under Dictation. You can get more details under Open Dictation Preferences. If you have connected an external hard drive to back up your files, you will need to set it up using Time Machine. When you connect the drive, you may see a dialog box asking you if you want to use it to back up your computer. If you don't see it, you can go to Time Machine, where you can add the disk manually by going to Select Disk. While System Preferences controls most of your computer's preferences, it doesn't change settings for applications. If you want to make changes to a specific application, you'll need to go into the Applications Preferences. 
For example, in Safari, you can click the Safari menu and then Preferences to change your settings just for this app. As you change your settings, keep in mind that they will only affect the current user account. If you have more than one user on your computer, each person can separately adjust their settings and customize them to their unique needs. Now that you know the basics of customizing your settings, we invite you to explore the system preferences for yourself so you can personalize your macOS experience. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.